What's up everyone, this is Asadullah Chaudhary. Today I'm gonna give you a brief introduction about jQuery. So make sure you have the basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript if, if you are watching this video series. So what is jQuery? jQuery is essentially a JavaScript library which allows you to write JavaScript code easily. It simplifies things. So what does it mean? Let me give you an example. For example, uh, you are writing the Ajax functionality. You want to add up the Ajax functionality in your website and you are using JavaScript, not jQuery. You will require a lot of lines of code to achieve this. On the other hand, if you are using jQuery, you can do the same thing and that will require just a few lines of code. The best part is jQuery is cross-browser supported. You can do a lot of stuff with it. It comes up with a lot of features like you can manipulate DOM elements, you can manipulate HTML, CSS, uh, you can uh, add up some animation effects or some other cool effects, or you can add up this Ajax functionality, as I mentioned earlier. There are big companies like Google, Microsoft, Dell, IBM, Netflix, they're already using jQuery. Okay, so it's time to open up the official jQuery website to show you some uh, more details. jQuery.com uh, This is the official jQuery website. You can download it and here's the API documentation, blog, plugins, browser support. So over here it says it's lightweight footprint it's very lightweight and it is CSS3 compliant it's a, it, it has a good support of CSS3 furthermore it is cross browser supported if I click it over here so this is the browser detail browser compatibility detail in the old version the version of 1 dot X that was that has a support of uh, minimum Internet Explorer 6 plus 6 and plus and uh, the current version is uh, 2 2 dot X and it has it has a support on Internet Explorer 9 and plus furthermore it has a good support for Chrome Edge Firefox Safari Opera iOS and Android the browser versions are mentioned over here. Okay, so if I go back, if you are if you read this part, this is all says uh, this is all says about jQuery. I mean, jQuery is a fast, small, and f small and feature-rich JavaScript library. It makes things like HTML document traversal and manipulation, everything, handling, animation, and Ajax much simpler with easy to use API that works that works across a m multitude multitude of browsers. It is uh, talking about a lot of functionality uh, with cross browser support. Furthermore, if I scroll down, there are some other projects of uh, jQuery. For example, jQuery Mobile, jQuery Sizzle. Q unit jQuery UI user interface so I'll make uh, the video lessons on each of these projects later okay so now it's time to show you how you uh, how you'll download the jQuery and how you how you're gonna use it here you can see a big huge button which says uh, download jQuery if I click over here this pa this page will be open up here are some uh, versions of jQuery download in jQuery this is the older version 1 dot X and this is the new version jQuery version number 2 2 X okay so if you read this part it says download the compressed production jQuery 2.2.1 and the other line says download the uncompressed development jQuery 2.2.1 so if you want to write the plugins and all that stuff then you'll go for this uncompressed version and if you just want to use a jQuery you just want to add up some f functionality on your website then you'll go for this one the compressed 
production jquery version so i'm gonna click over here it has been downloaded in my computer okay so i'm gonna open up my text editor let me show you my file structure directory structure uh, this is my main folder which has a name jquery touch english and uh, today is lesson number one the lesson number one directory is containing a public directory as well as index.html file and if i browse the public directory i like to make a directory with the name public and public directory contains the css images as well as the js directory and i like to put specific files in specific folders so currently the public directory is containing another directory which is which is js so i put i created a file which is uh, empty right now jquery.js and it is inside the js directory so it's time to put the javascript code that i in jquery code i'm sorry th that i just downloaded from a jquery website over here okay i think i should uh, split this uh, text editor into two sections Mm, I think selection I can't actually figure out how to do it okay forget it okay so let's go back and uh, get the downloaded file show in folder I'm gonna open it up in my text editor okay so this uh, this was the downloaded file I'm gonna copy this whole piece of code and I'm gonna paste it in my file that's it I downloaded the compress compressed version which is uh, jquery dot min the minified version the minified uh, if you download the minified version it has a size I think 31 or uh, 35 kilobytes but if if you go for the uncompressed version that has a bit larger size I think that's it, that that is uh, more than 200 kilobytes okay so I'm gonna go back to my HTML document here I'm gonna generate the HTML mark markup HTML okay so you have uh, you will see a lot of people will add up the JavaScript code over here in the head head section head tag I actually don't like this the reason is because uh, as soon as this uh, page will be loaded the l these instructions will be executed line by line HTML head meta title and then the script if anything goes wrong in your script then your HTML content will be will not be displayed I mean everything in the body tag depends upon this part first your scripts will be loaded and then rest of your other content so it is not a good practice so I would like to put my I would like to include the jQuery file at the end of my document where the body tag is closest. Okay, so I'm gonna give it the source where I downloaded my jQuery, uh, where I put my jQuery file. It is inside public CSS, sorry, public JS, and the file name is jQuery.js. Just to make sure if it's uh, if it's working or not, I'm gonna create another file that's gonna be another JavaScript file. I'm gonna name it script.js, and I have to include this file as well. So make sure you're gonna include your uh, your own JavaScript Java JavaScript file right underneath the jquery file where you included the jquery file otherwise it's it not gonna work source public js script.js
okay so I'm gonna go to my script file but I'm gonna write some code so just to make sure everything goes well I'm gonna write dollar document dot ready I'm not gonna explain what it uh, gonna do if my code ex executes uh, successfully if I see an alert box in the browser that means everything goes well alert you have successfully installed jQuery okay so I'm going back to open up this file in the browser for this I have to browse uh, to my file to, to this uh, to the specific directory where I'm working right now that has a name uh, jQuery touch English lesson one and index file here it is you successfully installed jQuery perfect it's working so this is it for today so uh, I'll see you in in the next lecture so till then take care bye bye